which he's trying you don't to value your life times. very. Yeah, I was gonna say he doesn't value his life very well. Times. <laughs> you would have just called it 2000, like you would have folded, probably. You would have folded. Yeah. All right. No way you fold. You know, Mueller has 10 high every time there. But he, he's fold? not right for his now he's just folding. Four bet. Yeah, now, now he's not even calling to see if Bobby's folding. That is the most ridiculous cover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he made it 2000. <laughs> he made it 150 out of the gun. He says, oh. yeah. He's that, he wasn't raising any. Yeah, it was yeah, calm. Right. Yeah, I haven't played any hands. It was the first pick overall. The guy opens out of the gun for 150 and he's going to muck the queen. <laughs> <laughs> and you must have drafted that then, Mikey. You must have drafted that. How much you play now, Mikey? Not much. 4,200. That's it? How come he oh, played tighter than me? Where's our no, it's a little more. I got 5,600. <laughs> he just had 22 dimes. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. <laughs> you're, you're brutal. brutal. Mattis out bet a thousand. Hey, not, you're, you're not even winning, are you? No, you're allowed to joke you when you're you losing. You me for 10,000, you're not even winning. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a little insulted Tom went first overall. I mean, right? I wanted that card. Yeah. Next time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Episode two of this season, for sure you're going first, Greg. <laughs> I'm sorry I missed the draft. They may fly jet out just for you. Well, they, I think we thought it was going to be more fun, like more... Uh, more chips and Yeah, talking. way more, way more sailors. More ball right? stock. <laughs> <laughs> more ball <laughs> stock. <laughs> Instead of swearing, you should say balls, but that doesn't work there. You're but we thought there was going to be more chatter. But everybody was like, oh, I got picked first high five. Woo. Instead of like, why did you pick me first? Mullen. Yeah, right? I wanted to be that. Oh, I wasn't sure. here yet. It felt like a team thing. like. It right, did. right, right. People were like high, like on the family feud when they like come. Yeah. They're all oh, high yeah. five. And yeah, I was surprised. Rich was, was awesome. Yeah, he was like yeah, pumped up. Awesome. And they were saying, here's our team. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, really? You should, you should be like, it's me. Yeah. Greg. Yes, for the count. Uh-oh. Wow. So, so you guys give him a minute here. He's got a tough decision. All right, I call. Oh. <laughs> 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 I've never slow rolled anybody before. So <laughs> <laughs> never you slow rolled anybody before. Never slow rolled anybody before. Mike Mattisau just lost another 6,000 um, yeah, coming off losing 13,000 in the last hand to Tom Schneider. Do you want cash, Mikey? I might just quit. I don't I like people to slow roll. It's not funny to me. Well, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Because, yeah, the cash can't play. better say sorry because Mike said he might quit now. I'm sorry, Mike. It's live for TV. I don't give a I've never slow rolled a person in my life, and I never will. I don't think. I think it's the most disgusting thing you can ever do. He got He's being serious right now. Serious. Well, it was, it was great. You can go ahead and mean, but it's all for fun, Mike. It was harmless. It was fun. It was a small pot. It's not it fun. Like That's not fun. Big fucking pot. The funny thing is, how did Mike not know? They're going FPT, FPT, <laughs> Greg. I'm like looking around. Yeah, they're both going. He's slow rolling him. <laughs> Mike's got his head down and no clue. But I mean, seriously, that is out of line. Like, I do agree with Mike. It's the only thing in life I don't <laughs> deal with. I, I, I didn't know you would take it. If I, if I thought you would even be You do anything to me, you can call me an M or son. You're going to slow on me, I'll punch you in the mouth. All right. You, you think I'm joking? I'm not. I That's know you're great not. Television. Okay. Do it. Pop him. Pop him. He's being dead serious, too. You can call me, you can make fun of me, you can do whatever you want. It's the only thing I don't deal with. You can slow roll me and I'll punch you in the face, too. No, I mean, that is out of line. We're playing. I mean, this is big money here. It's nothing to do with the money. No, but I'm saying we're playing with a lot of money. No, it's the principle. I don't yeah. like it. All right, he apologized. Yeah. Oh, you, know. you know, if I thought you would have been offended, I would have never done it. You know, we're good I mean, friends. I don't accept. I'm actually offended. I care less about money. Hold on, are you playing? Hey, he said he's going to punch well, me in the mouth. Yeah, that can't. That are on the very slightly tight side, just to see if, hey, if this is the time. Frank, Frank just looks. Defeated. Look at him. He looks like he wants to to just get it working. So yeah, James is gonna muck this Jack Ten because David's gonna limp these fives up front after after uh, doubling. He's gonna limp fives against two two short stacks at the table. <laughs> That's gonna get the sixes to limp behind. Small blind's gonna get out of the way, and Frank has eight tray offsuit. Gonna get to see a flop. Oh man, uh, wow.
this is uh, very bad news for Hewitt. Michael has flopped quads against fives full of sixes. If Hewitt does not get eliminated this hand, I will be absolutely shocked. James Carroll is about to uh, have an opportunity to ladder. Frank is also going to have an opportunity to ladder. But Frank falls in the trap. That board should hit the big blind much more than preflop limpers. But preflop limpers tend to have a lot of pocket pairs here. So I would be a little, little nervous. So smooth call by the fives full. He thinks he's trapping. How can you blame him? And we're going to get another smooth call right back behind with these uh, quad sixes. Everybody's trapping everybody. The eight high is like, what the hell is going on? And river card. Ace. All right. Hewitt, even if he bets small enough, uh, there's no way um, Michael's going to not raise a number that's going to get it all. So 300 is the bet from Hewitt. Fair oh enough. God. There's not going to be a raise that Michael's not going to be able to get. And uh, it's going to be all in. Frank's going to fold quick. Hewitt's going to be eliminated with an absolute disaster cooler. Why is that cool. You see, you can't even believe it. You can't even. Oh, my God. And I don't blame him. You have a hand that is going to win almost always, and you want to get all the money in. That's gross. Nice hand, bud. This is uh, very ugly. Very, very unfortunate run out for David. He is going to be our fifth place finisher. <laughs> As soon as you both what call, kind of fuck like, is, that? is there a commentator for the stream? Cool, fourteen thousand six hundred there for oh, David. No, he still nice feels thing, gross about it. He's yeah. gonna think about go those there? pocket fives yeah, for a very like long time. And uh, how can you blame him? In this no limit game, you can see the straddle in seed five is on, and so is the double straddle in seed six. Sick. <laughs> wow, David just has so many chips. So many. Disgusting. I might have less. It's really this. disgusting. Well, actually, I actually have to root against you because you have too many chips. It's, kind of, it's just disgusting. Of 30 dimes. How much is that? 18 and a quarter, right? You're allowed to root against your friend if they have too many chips. Look at this game. It's out of the muck. It's Bart. out of the muck. Bart, big decision here, Bart. <laughs> out of the this muck. Can, <laughs> it's going to decide the rest of your night right here. It's true. true. I think if I'm Bart, I'm going to repop this. You want more money to go in when you're sure you have the best hand. If you call miss the flop, it's a monster pot and you're in no man's land. Now it's gonna count. And then just call after yeah. all that, after all that. Or you could just call, that's fine too. That is always one of the options. Another small pot. Over 5K in the middle pre-flop. Yeah. I'm gonna do the opposite of what Phil did. I'm gonna leave after just losing yeah. half my stack. I doubt I'm that. Do I'm done, <laughs> see ya. Oh, sweet <laughs> Lord no above. Way. Come on. Is this real life? Top pair, top pair, quads. This is about to get uglier than the basement scene from Inglorious B-Words. Also, Bart may have just called pre-flop for moments just like this. I forgot to mention the times you think you know where you're at, but you're actually in the eye of the storm, AKA reverse implied odds. Wow. Only two, only two callers. Pot of the night. Still three ways to the turn. 12,000 in the middle. Oh my God, rip, Bart Hansen. You hear that? That is literally death on the phone. Do not answer it. The call is coming from inside your own hand. Five thousand five hundred into the abyss. I'd like to say I think David can get away from this, but it looks like chips in his hand. He can get away from it. Well done, nice fold. What can you do? You're all alone now, Bartholomew. I'm all in. I call. Ace oh, king. Oh. <laughs> Which one do you want to use? Which four? You only can use one of them. Wow. Just quads? I think I'm drawing dead. Ace king. Yeah, we got to turn over the show, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. 
Ace King. Yep. Uh, wow. At Ace King. <laughs> wow. Quad burgers. Nice, nice answer. Oh, just a thirty-three thousand dollar pot. Four. That's all. Holy. If you're gonna lose, you might as well lose to flop quads. I mean, that's fun. That's this that's a great burger. time. Hashtag death by quads. Ten. That's got a. Chamath Eclipse. Ten six, ten seven. Two. That's why I really love <laughs> poker night because they go to places that the people actually enjoy poker. Yeah. I don't like playing in Vegas. You know, mm -hmm. most of the, some of the LA tournaments are the same thing. I don't wear I don't wear headphones and hoodies and and yeah. tank everything. I like to talk to people and talk to real people. And when you go to, on these stops in Oklahoma and Pittsburgh and Sacramento and all these places, you talk to real people who have real jobs and real lives and families, and you have conversations and you get to know people and you meet people, and you learn different things. I enjoy that. It's, it's how poker's supposed to be played. Yeah, I mean, I play. I play <laughs> people with the poker. headphones and the sunglasses and the hoodies on. It's just so douchey. Hey, bro, stop making fun of my friend. Sorry, is it on me? Well, if I need to, because you know, I just, I just really taking that like day, ten. But I would say like literally, people are like I'd every move they have to have a call. Top pair for Maria, like, really? over pair for Glance. Ball. Bad flop for her. You played tournaments. I, I have, I played one time with the main. What are you doing, Ross? Oh, you check? No, I check. I had to call when I had the nut flush, and you had the clock. Take it easy, Glance. You got none of that. I called you a nickname yesterday. I remember now. No, I'm just joking. That was well played. The mark yeah. of a really good poker player is someone who can sometimes anyway. avoid losing the maximum in these so, so spots. Story, the, oh, well, that certainly right changes thing. Another course. jack on the Except turn for Maria. Just to the mark of a really good poker off. player is someone who can sometimes avoid that's winning that's the minimum in these spots. <laughs> what did I do this for? Yeah. I'm always in savage uh, big And I made a really big mistake at the yeah. end of day one against like Gus Hansen. Uh, I'm the worst. She goes from trying to control the pot to let's blow this thing up, baby. Out of control as Maria fires 1700. Because I, I, this literally is just fun. You know, yeah. I, Call from Glance. So it all finishes in one. I had to introduce was, myself to Maria today. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's great. You know what I mean? Maybe not. And the river gives <laughs> yeah. her quads. Come on now, what's going on? Somebody you shuffle these cards. Quads again? What is happening? And that's a terrible card for Glance because he's going to think he's got like the second nuts. And it went fast, too, you know? We got a big hand developing here between uh, Ho and Glance. Okay. Here comes Maria's bet. It's 5,100. Almost a full pot bet. Matt's gonna give this a think, but I don't think there's any way he folds. Yeah, the pools. The... No, we were able to do it when we didn't have the good old. Yeah, he makes the call and there it is. Whee! quads Another again. Another quad burger. Do they call it a quad burger because wow. somebody's always it's eating it? Bad river. That's how she rolls. That's the second time we've seen quads. When was the first? I don't remember. <laughs> Anybody remember when there were quads other times? The computer program. Yeah. It'll be on <laughs> Some sort of four in my dreams. How are you? No, no, it wasn't for me. It was the actual one. The guy just went slapped him and said no. <laughs> 200. Just give him a slap, you know? You're not small, but you're butter. Oh. Raise 1,200. Uh, I told you to get your massage in the end. And you have a note? Is this AP? Now, normally on Poker Night in America, we have a policy of no massage at the table, but Antonio, it's not exactly normal. Twelve. Oh, sorry. Her pan gonna make a bit of a loose call in the big blind with the five-three offsuit. We've got two solid premium holdings and one of the worst ones in poker. And this is why you don't skip leg day, folks. Look at those quads. So what sort of business did you do then? Um, I used to run a hedge fund, and now I just um, manage my own capital. And, and Sabadeen has played almost no hands, I, I, uh, so this bet should I'm maybe scare people. But again, 58. Antonio Esfandiari is not most people. Let's throw all the strategy out the window. It's moments like this that we play poker for. You're sitting there with quads and your opponent's trying to make a move. Generally speaking, when you've got the quad, you want to trap. He's okay with his opponent improving to anything except maybe that queen of hearts. The king of clubs rolls off on the turn and Antonio improves a top pair top kicker. 
A wise check back on the turn from Antonio, and once again, Safdine has to decide what to do with his four of a kind. Yeah, just to do it. He sets the trap. What's it called? Just to do it. And Antonio might feel good right now, mainly because of the massage. He's about to get some bad news. And Safadine gives him the min rays on the river. This always just feels insulting when someone does it to you. Why would I give my friend $10,000? It's so annoying, you know? It's just so annoying. Can Antonio get away from top here, top kicker? Maybe against this player specifically. It's been in line all day. And when the tighter players make a move, it tends to be a little more effective. Four of a kind will somehow win this pot. I did have one out. Don't worry, Antonio. Plenty of chips there to keep the massage train going. Woo! Quads. Well, you could have got all of it. Jennifer Tilly, King Deuce suited. She won a big pot last time with King Deuce. Makes it 175. Elia Lezra in with pocket fives. JP took me to school there. Casella? Nine. Makes it 900 with pocket jacks. Everyone else would have slow played you. Could have got me. You did have a backdoor straight and flush draw, yeah? That is true. Okay, so if I get more danger of losing. Is Elia Lezra a bank of computers connected to the blockchain? You know? Bitcoin mining? Huh? <laughs> yeah, is he gonna go mining? <laughs> he doesn't have that much behind. I don't think he's getting the implied correct odds, but that's not fun. Of course not. Yeah. 87 conservatively percent of the time I try to high flop. Look at that, set of fives. And you know the odds of slow play. Casella continues. It's a big bet from Casella. Yeah, 2,000. Jennifer, good. <laughs> Jennifer, did a fold. I think this is Kevin's plan. He's gonna. Play six hours like a knit. Elia Lezra all in. And then 19, you're gonna, and 19, then you're 50. Steal from them because they have the image that you're. You might be drawing dead. Super loose and ridiculous. Well, I'm not drawing dead. Well, Cassell kind of priced himself in there. Oh my oh goodness, God. it's a jack on the turn. And a jack oh on the river, God. despite yeah. the fact that Ellie had a flush draw. Whoa, what poker god did you anger? It's Sorry, my big buddy. mouth. I, I mean, said I you'd buy the joint. It didn't chair me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. me. He looks like he's not, you yeah, know? Yeah, then. And then suddenly. Andrew Shadalov now with two black aces. <laughs> yeah. Ace, ace do so clubs, bang. Easy. Easy game. I thought, I thought he, he would be bluffing too. And Dan DeZenzo, a uh, New Jersey online reg, uh, wakes up with kings here. There's the three bet to 26 million. Shadalov, if he reads Dezenzo is strong, he may go for another bet. It's also possible that he could just call here. And Shadalov elects to just call. Ace, ace, nine. Just ridiculous flop. And the presence of two aces has to make DeZenzo feel a little bit better about kings. Rates to be the best hand still. Deuce rolls off on the turn. Shouldn't change anything. Shadowlove decides to check, 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 and trap him. Please don't use that ever. <laughs> so Shadowlove has now checked the flop and turn with his quad aces. This is actually a pretty sweet run out. He can probably go for any amount he wants. 22? He bets a very reasonable 23 million. If I'm in Dan's spot, I think I was hoping that it was a little more. You think your kings are good here? For sure. And Dan really lost the minimum on that hand. Wow. Just quads, just quads. Not the best. Whoa. What a horrible flub, huh? Well, that was fun. What do you say we watch another one? Get comfy, it's called a click hole. Don't worry, no one's gonna tell your boss.